module, we're going to talk about rigor, academic rigor. What does it mean to teach a rigorous course? Well, if you hit the research, you will find lots of different definitions, and there is no clear agreed upon definition for this particular construct. Uh, if you talk to students and professors, uh, you're very likely to hear some mix of two ideas. Uh, people will say that a rigorous course is hard, and you're going to learn a lot. Now, pause right there. Being hard and learning a lot are not the same thing. Imagine, I could be teaching a nursing course, and I could say, my submission drop box is up top of that flagpole. Every assignment you submit has to be in that drop box by 5 p.m. or you flunk. Getting your homework in on time would be really hard, but that degree of difficulty does not say anything about whether you're learning a lot about nursing. All right? So a rigorous course isn't just a hard course. Things can be hard for lots of reasons that don't have anything to do with actually learning something. If we sift through the literature, there are lots of ways to define rigor. What I'd like you to do is think of rigor as two words. Ongoing improvement. Rigorous courses are those that students take that actually produce the results we're after in college, that make students better at learning. Now that doesn't just mean that we want them to know more stuff about the field they've gone into. Certainly that's part of it. But there's something bigger about rigor that I want you to keep in mind. Rigor isn't just some quantity of knowledge that we shift from the books and the teachers to the students. Rigor is about improving students' approach to learning. Okay? So we're going to talk three big words, pedagogy, andragogy, and hutagogy. A lot of students come to college not because they're really self-motivated to come to college and seek knowledge, but because they were told, oh, you got to have a degree to get a job. So here they are, and they're kind of passively waiting for us to fill them with knowledge and you know, give, the, give them ideas, give them facts, give them their grades, give them their diplomas, give them their jobs. That's what can be called a passive or pedagogical approach where students think of themselves as empty vessels and they're just waiting to be filled up by the profs. We want to improve students' approach to learning, make it deeper than that. We want students to move from a pedagogical approach to an andragogical approach, a more active approach where they ask some of their own questions, where they start seeking out resources on their own and bringing them to the discussions and the projects they work on. Ultimately, we want to move students to what we call a hutagogical approach to learning. We want students to really take charge of their own learning, to be self-directed, internally motivated learners. That's what hutagogy is all about, self-directed learning. That continuum from pedagogy to andragogy to hutagogy is, I think, a really good way to think of the improvement we're trying to achieve with a rigorous higher education. We're trying to get students to move from pedagogy to andragogy to hutagogy, from passive learning to active learning to, holy cow, self-directed, internally motivated learning. Okay. Now notice, I'm talking about rigor as a quality of the students, as something that's manifested in their performance. That's another important part of thinking about rigor in the right frame. Rigor is not what you teach. And it's definitely not how much you teach. Rigor is how you teach. Rigor is going to be what you ask of your students. That's a key part. Are you asking them uh, simple surface level questions? Are you asking them just to recite back the Declaration of Independence or the top 50 facts about human anatomy? Or are you asking them more challenging questions? Questions that get them thinking? Questions that motivate them to ask questions? Rigor is going to depend on what you ask of students. But ultimately it's going to be shown, it's going to be proven by what the students themselves think and do. Achieving rigor is about getting students 
to do more difficult things. It's about getting students to move away from thinking that school can be handled as just a checklist. Uh, get away from a surface approach that just says, oh, I'm just here to do these tasks and hand it in and be done and fire and forget. We want to get students away from that surface approach to learning to a deep approach to learning where they start asking those questions. They become more active and they become self-motivated as learners. That's what we're really aiming at with rigor. Because remember, ultimately, students have to be, they have to learn to be lifelong learners. We're only going to be with them here at college for a few years. Our goal needs to be to help students make ongoing improvement toward a deep approach to learning. That's what rigor in courses at Presentation College is all about.